Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. What do we have for the sign of Scorpio, please? For the sign of Scorpio. Oh, some regrets here, five of cups. Connection's not dead emotionally though. Somebody here is, I feel you're struggling to move on from somebody. Queen of Wands. Fire energy. Mm. Confusion. Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups. Recent past. I feel like there's a new, somebody new wants to come in, but you're struggling to leave the past behind. And there's there's a very tempting choice here for you. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, hanging on. The sun. Look what you're coming into. Beautiful. A much happier phase in your life. King of Wands. Ooh. Look at that. King and Queen. Same suit. Well matched in a lot of ways. Very passionate. Very alluring, charismatic. Very freedom loving. You both kind of like your own way. You you both to a degree very hedonistic. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. Six of Cups. Somebody here wants reconciliation. They want to come back in. King of Swords. Aquarius Libra Gemini energy. I feel you're trying to close your emotions off and make a head over heart decision. But somebody here, I feel the person you're dealing with is kind of overbearing and controlling a little bit you know you need some time out for one thing to heal something ended and something new's trying to come in Let's see it's five of cups yeah you're kind of waiting for developments to see if they come back. I feel you're willing to give it one more go, some of you. Not all of you. This won't apply to everybody watching. Take it out, it resonates. It's a general reading. But some of you want to give this another crack. Let's have a look. Queen of Wands. Yeah. They're feeling stuck too. They're perhaps in a connection or in a situation that they are they feel trapped in. But they're kind of closed off at the moment. Mm. Hierophant, Taurus energy. Yeah, you want you want stability. You don't just want excitement and glamour and it's great if the charisma and the the passion and the excitement are all good, but if there's no stability or you don't feel stable, it's not exactly the best of places to be. It's, well, it's shaky to say the least. There's certainly a lot of drama.
this old knight of swords could be unexpected messages coming in from the past you know you've been carrying this burden for a long long while but the energy in the past has been so scattered but as with every 10 in the deck to me it's the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one yeah a new period of happiness you know there's a chance here to come into the the much more positive and the come out of this unpredictability this instability Whatever choice you make with this, uh, the Six of Swords is telling me, <coughs> make sure it's for the right reasons. Because I kind of get somebody who's trying to run away from something. Somebody here is afraid of something. The only problem with that is you can't run away from yourself, whether you're in the UK, Europe, America, wherever on the planet, you can't run away from yourself. Mm, communication. King of Wands. I say again... Be careful if you go towards this person from the past. Make sure it's for the right reasons. But because always with the magician, it's very, very good. It's a beautiful card. And it's it's all about communication and moving forward. But I'm picking up manipulation here. I feel here somebody's want to tell you something to get what they want. What's this six of cups? Yeah. Six of pentacles. This person you're dealing with from the past, they could be in another connection. I feel their loyalties are torn. They're unsure. They're in like, I mean, two sixes to me is number 12 in the major arcana, and that's Hangman. So there's kind of a change of perspective here as well, but there's also a major decision. King of Swords. Hmm. Say excitement and adventure be get beckons, passion beckons. You know, but I'm getting your in no hurry. It's kind of like step outside the comfort zone, and possibly even there's some legal reasons why you can't just up sticks and leave, because I am getting travel here. I'm getting distance for some of you. It's this hermit. Mm. there's some questions here on your emotions you know it, it is very emotional and it is a very very tempting choice you're making it's very alluring this person is very very charismatic they perhaps see you as their queen and you see them as your king or the other way around as I say take it out it resonates in a lot of ways but there's a history here and you certainly don't want to repeat the cycle and this hermit is you you know questioning your feelings you're wondering if it's Part of an ego trip for them. 
I'm going to get one more card. Yeah. Sagittarius Energy, the old Temperance card. Yeah, it's it's all about balance. You're trying to get emotional balance. I feel in the past that it was rather up and down. And there's another question here I am getting, you know, why now before you wouldn't commit or whatever you wanted, just the excitement. And like I say, why now? Perhaps they feel threatened because you are have another offer. Perhaps they can see maybe you've posted something on social media that you're with a new person. If they see it, they want to come in. I hope that's helped. Thank you very much for watching.